Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another outlet bag to share with you guys. This one is from Kate Spade. Now this is the first Kate Spade bag that I have ever owned. I did have a wallet of theirs a few years ago. I think it was the Kate Spade Lacey and I do have a review on that. So I'll put the card up here so you can check that out if you like. I love that wallet. I love the quality of it and everything. I just I guess I never really found one of their bags that spoke to me. So the story behind getting this one is that I actually went to the outlet mall to go to the coach store to have a look and see what they have because I was interested in maybe getting an outlet coach bag. I ended up doing, it was just via um, online instead. But anyways, they didn't have anything that day. So I went two doors down to the outlet. Uh, obviously it was an outlet mall. So I went down, two doors down to the outlet uh, Kate Spade store and I kind of had a wander around and there was one particular bag that caught my eye and it was in a different color than I usually get. Usually I'm pretty conservative. I get blue, you see, I've kind of got blue, black, brown, black. <laughs> uh, but this one is actually in a more, I guess, as the sales associate put, put it, if you get a Kate Spade bag, you need to get a colorful one. I'm like, okay. So let me show you without any ado. This is the bucket bag and it's in lavender. And oh my gosh, it is so, so pretty. Let here it is here. This is a very different color than I, I usually get, but I have found that this bag actually does go with a lot of my tops that I have. It goes really nice with even black that I'm wearing today or blue, or I have some flowery tops too. So it surprisingly goes with a lot of outfits, even though it is quite a different color than I, use, I usually get. This is a pebbled leather, beautiful quality, soft uh, material. It's already squishy. Um, I did go over it very meticulously when I bought it uh, make, to make sure all the glazing and everything on it was good. There weren't any marks or anything like that because it is, you know, an outlet bag. So I wanted to make sure it was, you know, looking good before I brought it home. This is my first, I guess, bucket bag that I've had too. So I'm actually really, really enjoying this bag. I have had it since last week. I've used it as much as I can because it is so comfortable. So. It does come with a adjustable uh, attached handle. It is attached here with the silver hardware D-rings. And this does actually um, expand or it, like these little, okay, so there's little buttons right here, which come undone and these sliders slide up to the top and it's long enough for me to wear crossbody and I'm 5'9". So that's really cool that it's that I can do that. And it just, it's very comfortable. I'm, I'm really surprised. Like I did have, well, when I say this is my first bucket bag, I guess I did have the Louis Vuitton uh, Petite Noi, Neo Noi, Noi. <laughs> um, but that one I didn't like having to undo the tie things to get in and out of it. And it just felt kind of big. This one, I think because of the way it's shaped, it sits on my hip on my side really nicely, even when it's over my shoulder. A couple of coach bags that were shoulder bags and beautiful bags, but I ended up having to sell them because they would pull on my shoulder a certain way because I have a back injury. And it was just after about an hour of wearing them, I just couldn't anymore. And there was nothing in them. It was like my five things that I bring in there and I just couldn't handle it. I had to sell those bags because they were just not, they were, I couldn't wear them. This one, however, I wear and it has my things in it that I normally take. And then I put other things in it and it's nowhere as heavy. I don't know whether it's the design or what it is, but it's so, so comfortable. So anyway, let's get back to the features of the bags. This one does have cinches on either side. Now this does not, really affect the expandability of the bag because the inside has a pocket that is sewn. So it kind of cinches these two sides in. So this, these are mainly for decoration. I mean, you can uncinch them and, but it, and it expands the bag just a tad, but not really as far as making it bigger to get into it. But that doesn't matter because you can get into this bag so easily. It's, it's really not an issue. Plus, I think they look really, really cute on the side there. There aren't any feet on the bottom of this, which I kind of wish there was, but that would have added more weight. So I just make sure that I don't pull up it straight on the ground. I hang it on something or whatever. I'll keep it on my shoulder. So not a biggie, but just to let you know, uh, they don't. this one doesn't have feet. It has these little grommets everywhere, which is really cute. The silver grommets. It has the Kate Spade logo down here, which is uh, foiled onto the bag, not embossed. I think it's just foiled. So this may rub off over time, but I think it's really pretty having it there. And then the front has this really pretty lock. Okay, I'm gonna cover my face. Oop. All right, so these are two little tassels here, which is decoration, but this lock is actually functional. So 
if you let's see it's locked right now okay <laughs> i don't usually lock it when i'm wearing it because i can just get in and out and it, and it actually magnetizes shut a little bit anyways however if you want to lock it that's what it looks like locked okay unlock it you just twist it okay and it comes out now i'll show you the inside of how that works so here's the heart here mechanism there's the hole there's the bit that goes in it goes in turn and it's locked but most of the time i just have it like that and it's fine however you do have that option the back side is a, a clip just a regular clip magnetized clip that has a leather tab so that clips shut and then the inside of this bag is a really pretty i think it's like a light gray lavender micro suede lining and it's just oh, it's just so nice and soft i love how soft this is there is a center pocket like I showed earlier, which I have, haven't really been a big fan of bags with center pockets, but for some reason I really do like this one. And really nice smooth zipper, okay? And then the inside is lined with like a nylon with little silver hearts, if you can see that there. Okay, so really, really pretty design. And then you can see the the, the ties here, they, they don't go all the way around the bag, they stop like as they come in and they've got little silver grommets too. So the detail on this bag is really pretty. And as I said, I've just found it so comfortable. I, I wanted to wait to use it for a bit before I did a review and a reveal and stuff on it. Cause I really do want to tell you what I thought about it. And I reach for this bag a lot. If I can match it with my outfit, I'll reach for it. They had a black version and a like reddish pinkish version, but the lavender is just pretty, pretty, pretty. And I don't care that it's coming into winter. I'll still use it. I don't coordinate my bags necessarily with winter and summer or whatever. I just use whatever I feel like goes with my outfits. But then again, you do tend to wear darker colors in winter. I don't know why that is. Maybe we should wear lighter colors, kind of brighten up the mood a bit. Uh, anyways, I'm going to show you now how I pack this bag normally. And also a couple of extra things that I want to show you how they fit in there, such as an iPad, medium set piece by Jujubee, and a water bottle, just so you can get an idea of the, you know, how tall it is and everything like that. I will pop some pictures up also of me wearing it, uh, but then you can at least see what it looks like on me as far as on the shoulder. I mean, I can show you real quick now. So this is what it looks like on the shoulder here. Okay. Um, and it's just, oh, it's just so, it's so comfy. I was, I was wearing it in Target. I think it was yesterday doing my shopping and I forgot I had it on. <laughs> that never happens to me so I don't know what it is I don't know how why it's it's just so it's just so lightweight anyways let's get into the packing portion of the video okay so going inside I'll of the bag so in in this front pocket here this is quite a deep pocket right here I just have my iPhone 11 Pro and then I also have a my uh, Rosalie coin purse and my key pouch so that's all I had in that front pocket, but you can see deep inside there. The back side pocket, I do have a mini wipe pouch and my um, Louis Vuitton mini pochette that fits perfectly in there, as you can see right there. Now this pocket does not go all the way down. So just be aware there is a gap at the very bottom. So things can slide underneath, just like a lot of other bags with this design. In this zip pocket here, it's really deep. It goes all the way down. I have two masks and then my, whoops, uh, a hair clip for I put my hair up later and some lip gloss and lip stick in the bottom there. So it's a very, very roomy pocket. So you can fit a lot inside of this bag. A few things here, I wanted to show you how they fit in. So I do have a iPad Pro. So I think this is, whoosh. I have to get the size and put in the video for you, but it's just the standard iPad and that does fit in there. You can't close it necessarily, but if you wanted to just pop that in to take that, say to the cafe or lunch or whatever to study or, you know, do to read or whatever, you can put that in there. Definitely fit an iPad mini in here if you needed, if you had kids and you wanted to take that with you to entertain them, that fits in there too. I have a medium set piece here by Jujubee in case there's some Jujubee people watching. I'm guessing you guys want to see how that fits in there. So you can actually get it in like sideways like that. You can get it in standing up 
and it's still, well it won't close if it's standing up, but it will close if it's sitting down. So say you wanted to put all your little knick-knacky things, catch-alls, and use this instead. Uh, this is a really nice option and it does fit inside of the Kate Spade bag. One other thing I wanted to show you guys is a is a drink bottle. So this is the uh, nine ounce swell bottle and that fits perfectly in there as well. And you can close the bag up with that in, in there as well. So it does fit a smaller water bottle perfectly inside of the bag. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little packing portion and it showed you what fit in, into the bag and how it looks and everything like that. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a, th a thumbs up or a like in uh, down below. It really does help out my channel. Uh, it allows my videos to be seen by more people, finding this uh, you know, YouTube algorithm thing that's happening these days. I would really like to hear from you guys in the comments. Let me know what you think of the Kate Spade bucket bag, if you have this bag you like the design if, you, if there is an outlet store near you go check it out it's really really pretty definitely worth it i think i got this for like 60 percent off and then another 20 percent off that so it really brought it down which was a really good deal i really do hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you next time